Hey there, ever wonder what happens to all the dirty water we produce from our homes, factories and farms? Where does all the sewage go? Pause the video and make guess in the comments below. If you said it is discharged into nearby streams, rivers and seas, then the end point is correct. But this water cannot be directly released into the environment. Nature has a fantastic ability to cope with small amounts of water waste and pollution. Still, it will be overwhelming if we didn't treat the billions of gallons of waste water and sewage produced daily before releasing it back into the environment. Not just this. If this waste water or sewage is released untreated, it can have severe environmental and health consequences. These pollutants can enter the body of the aquatic animals living in that water body. If humans consume these organisms like fish, the toxic pollutant would even enter our system. The consequences of this is unimaginable. Hence, to reduce the load of pollutants to a level that nature can handle, this waste water or sewage must be treated. The sewage released from homes, buildings and hospitals is transported to the point of treatment by a network of small and big pipes called sewers. Wastewater treatment is the process of removing harmful contaminant from wastewater so that it can be safely reused or released back into the environment. So how is this water treated? Yes, we will be discussing that next. Make sure you watch the video till the end. The first step in the wastewater treatment process is screening. The physical process of wastewater treatment begins with screening out large items that have found their way into the sewer system and if not removed can damage pumps and impede water flow. A bar screen is usually used to remove large items from the influent and is ultimately taken into landfill. This is like a filter that catches large items like sticks, rocks and trash. But smaller and fine grits can easily make their way through the bars and can damage the pumps and the other equipment. Too small to be screened out, this grit needs to be removed from the grit chamber. So the second step of wastewater treatment is grit removal. The third step is called sedimentation. In simple terms, it is a process of settling after grit removal. The influent enters the large tanks that allow the heavy solid to sink into the bottom and cleaner influent to flow. The solids that fall to the bottom of the tanks are known as sludge and are pumped out regularly to ensure it does not impact the process of separation. The sludge is then discarded after all the water is removed and commonly used as fertilizer. The fourth step is called aeration. After the separation of all the solids, the wastewater is now put into the aeration tanks. As the name suggests, air is pumped into the tank. This provides oxygen for bacteria to continue to propagate and grow and further break down to the organic matter present in the wastewater. The organic matter content of wastewater discharge into nearby streams determines how much oxygen will be available for the fish to breathe, meaning if the wastewater has too much organic content, all the oxygen would be utilized for its breakdown and the oxygen supply for the aquatic organism would be limited, thus increasing the biological oxygen demand. Hence, it is important to reduce the organic matter content before discharging the wastewater. Now, to further accelerate the breakdown of the organic matter, the water from the aeration tank now moves to the another tank which is loaded with small solids called activated sludge which consists of concentrations of bacteria. The final step is disinfection. This is where chemicals like chlorine or ultraviolet light are used to kill any remaining harmful bacteria and viruses. Chlorination is the most common method of disinfection. After treatment, final testing is done to ensure the wastewater has met certain standards set by the government. These standards make sure that the water is safe to use and won't harm the environment. Now we know all the steps involved in wastewater treatment and most importantly why treating sewage is important. Hope you have liked our video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends and family and if you want to learn more about environmental issues and sustainability be sure to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching